Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Interceptor. This is Quick Mind coming back at you. We just finished the mission. We're heading back to base. And uh, I just had my fifth crash. So I'm having really bad luck today. I normally don't crash this much. Got our X Winder missiles. Probably not enough to rearm everybody, but uh, we'll get some more money here soon. Weekly report. We're. Uh, we're finding out that the aliens are using deep space probes against us, but uh, we could already tell that with the earlier um, downlink uh, jammer. That's alright though. I have a freighter coming in. Two Gatling lasers. Alright. We can go ahead and sell some stuff. Standard targeting equipment. And two sectoids. Don't need that. Uh, one thing you can do, as soon as you get Gatling lasers, um, you have a little bit of time to make a couple and then sell a couple and then make a couple and sell a couple. The reason is, you can sell them for $279,000. But you can make them for two hundred fifty, so it's a real small profit. But it can help out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and keep them for now, though. I'm going to buy a few more missiles. That was pretty quick. Alright. Now we need to equip those Gatling lasers. I'm going to go ahead and put it on someone I'm probably not going to uh, use because um, they'll need more help than me, pretty much. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm, you know, awesome at this or something, but I'd rather have really good help than me be pretty good. Because I think it's a little bit better to do it that way. And yeah, we got some more money. Hey, let's buy some more missiles. Buy 24. Save just a little bit of money. Go ahead and save it. Alright. So now we have electroplasmic shields. Shield protection is 400 for the forward and the aft of the craft. Over here, you can see it takes a thousand man hours to make, costs 90,000 each, takes up two units of storage space. What are we going to research next? Let's do synthetic Illarium. And if you're not sure what that is, um, in the first XCOM and the third XCOM, but more specifically in the first XCOM, the aliens used a uh, fuel source called Ilarium. It's element 115. Uh, it's, it, it couldn't be found in this solar system. It, they they uh, brought it from somewhere else, uh, and you know they had a cache of it on Mars, but uh, it wasn't found till way after the war. Um, but it was extremely efficient, over 99% efficient, and uh, Earth really, really uh, found good use of it, but w we started running out because we couldn't find any more. But now the scientists have found a way to synthesize it. Good stuff. <laughs> more missiles for us. Alien spacecraft detected. Medium squadron. Shouldn't be too bad. Especially now that we have two craft with Gatling lasers. And we'll go ahead and save it again. I have a feeling you're going to see me save way too much. But I'd rather do that than not save enough. Sensor contact lost. We'll pick him back up here in a second. 
Get that tag him. <clears throat> oh, five on four, not bad. run on this. I was saving every time something happened. Pretty quiet. Alright. Synthetic Galerium. Cydonia is a uh, part of Mars. If you're familiar with the face on Mars, uh, that's where the Cydonia base was in the XCOM universe. I won't tell you too much more in case you want to play XCOM UFO Defense. Okay, do some more research. No, not too much. So we'll do some solar fusion now. I think we have some shields we can put on. Yeah. Some electroplasma shields on two guys. And save it. Don't need those now. Now well, those are cheap enough. I'll go ahead and have two manufactured. Because it will help out a lot. HNN, Frontier uh -oh, Update. An interstellar war? Hmm. Wonder what that means. Alright. Put on these other two. All right. And then sell our two deflector shields. And save. And I think I'm going to go ahead and quit for now, but I'll be back later. 
and thank you for watching.